give us a little background on, on you as a professional skier, what you're working on uh, as a humanitarian as well. Yeah, sure. So uh, I participate in the sport of speed skiing. It's a FIS World Cup sport. It was in the 92 Albertville Olympics as a demonstration sport. What it basically is, is where you are in a tuck um, and uh, you're trying to go as fast as possible uh, through the finish area. What question do you have for Brian and I? Yeah, sure. So as a semi-professional athlete that found their passion uh, later in life than most, uh, what advice would you give to those to find their hidden and true potential? That is such a good question. And it's not an easy one because it's different for everybody. But this is what I have found. I have found that so many of us are born as our brightest, most authentic burning life. And then the, we allow the world to just put all these layers on top of us on the things that we should be, the things we should have, the things we should do, as well as all the things we should not be or shouldn't do. We are consistently mm -hmm. and persistently told that who we are and what we want to accomplish in this world isn't good enough. And so we develop these layers of pain that develop inside of us, many of which we don't heal. And then we develop these layers of armor on the outside of us that don't allow us to portray who we are or allow the universe to find why we're supposed to be here. I'm a big believer that we don't find our purposes, our purposes find us, but we have to be open to receiving it, which means we have to put our work in to shed those layers of armor so that we actually can receive what we want. So I'm a big believer and I chased all the what's of the world. What else? What car? What amount of money? I chased all these things because I thought I was chasing my potential. I thought I was chasing my purpose. And it wasn't until I said goodbye to all those things when I realized I'd lost who I was, started putting in the work on who I was, that all the what's in my world became a manifestation of who I was. And so I'm a big core believer that for you to truly tap into your potential, for you to truly tap into and lean into your purpose, you have to get to the core of who you are. I agree with him. The way that I articulate uh, that in my vernacular is enjoy the consistent every day, persistent without quit pursuit of your potential. But I have a little bit of a twist, uh, some nuance that I've been studying myself. And not only do you need to enjoy the consistent, persistent pursuit of your potential, but you need to know who your God is. Now, let me, let me explain that. Brian didn't know who his God was when he found out his God was cars, money, and other things. He then was able to determine that's not who I want to serve. That's not what I want to serve. Hmm. That's not why I want to serve. So many people go through life Everybody serves a God, they just don't know it. And they don't know which God they're serving. And when they can raise their awareness, when they can raise their own identity to what God am I serving? What God do I want to serve? Who should I serve and why should I serve? That's when we start to enjoy the consistent, persistent pursuit of our potential and realize that our potentiality is unlimited and that we need to not only pursue but realize that pursuit is in clearing the interference between us and the God we want to serve, not the God we are serving. 